Uh, we also need to talk about our DNA 3. I mean, I guess there's not really... There's not really that much to say that we didn't say in the video yesterday. Uh, it's a return to competition. I never thought I'd be so excited to see a $1,000 and a $900 GPU, and yet here I am. Not that because I'm excited about a $900 GPU, but because I'm yeah. excited about what it indicates about the pricing of the rest of the stack, that we, we might be going back to you know, real world land instead of the fantasy land that NVIDIA CEO lives in where people like real people can spend $1,600 on a GPU. It's just ridiculous. Um, for those of you who missed our video yesterday, AMD was very vague about the performance of the upcoming 7900 XTX. That's the thousand dollar variant, but they did give us relative performance compared to the 6950 XT at 4K. We were able to get some information about the test benches that they were running and extrapolate performance based on uh, drag racing a 6950 XT and an RTX 4090 and then applying AMD's cited performance uplift to the 6950 XT to give some idea of what a 4090 versus 7900 XTX shootout is going to look like. As anticipated, if you kind of have been paying attention to the industry for a while, NVIDIA uh, pushed the 4090 just hard enough to maintain the performance crown and no harder than that. Um, they're, they're Wadded their their thermal and their power consumption targets were clearly designed to make sure that they maintained the upper hand so that they could maintain their price premium, um, but didn't go any any harder at out of fear maybe of um, harming the reliability of the product. It's too early to say how accurate our estimates are, given the up to one point seven times faster. Um, might be when you're directly looking at a wall yeah, that actually means. Yeah, or into the skybox or yeah. whatever, right? Um, it's also possible that AMD futs to the numbers, but if they didn't, it looks like one heck of a fast GPU. And it looks like the RTX 4080 16 gig, based on NVIDIA's published numbers, might get absolutely destroyed by the 7900 XTX while costing $200 more. It's pretty dumb what has become a selling point for a GPU under a thousand dollars supports the latest version of display port doesn't risk burning your house down <laughs> won't require a power supply upgrade and should physically fit in your computer case like really that's the bar AMD had to meet in order to impress me they met it though maybe yeah we'll see uh, Anthony, it's exciting though. I, I'm I'm happy about this. I I agree with you. I am more happy about this for not this card, but the other cards in the stack. Yeah. Um. I still think, in in current years, spending a thousand dollars on a GPU is like crazy. Um. But yeah, it hopefully means very good things for the cheaper cards in the stack. Uh, our discussion question here is, do you think this will even pressure NVIDIA, or are they so entrenched in normie gamers' minds that this won't even be a problem for them? I think that's a very real possibility. I think that NVIDIA will just keep competing with themselves. NVIDIA only races against one company, NVIDIA. Uh, that's why, I mean, we saw this messaging change, man, ages ago. I think it was back when maybe... 960 or 1060 launched, where they stopped comparing in their reviewers' guides to to other companies' cards and just started comparing to their own card from three years ago, showing what an upgrade this is for GeForce gamers. I was like, okay. Mm <laughs> but it's working for them. I mean, that's absolutely what Apple does for the most part. Actually, they, they provided a little more comparative performance data in the last couple of years. I think that's as fudged as it might have been. Um, I guess that's an improvement. 